whatever sports we want. It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. We're making this a bar tab stop to hit the lanes and check out their new twist on bar grub. We're here with the great Mike Fisher, who's the chef at East Village Tavern, and he's going to show us bar food at its best. Today we're going to make some tater skins, one of our most popular items, signature uh, buffalo wings, and an order of our famous nachos. Mm, all so. things I probably would order at happy hour. So we're going to do our eight-piece wings. We fry these for about five minutes at 350. So for happy hour, do you just uh, really whip out this food fast? We shoot to get it to our customers as fast as possible. Yeah, people have to work, want their food ASAP. We're going to, we have our uh, buffalo sauce already heated up. We're going to get it to a temperature so we can glaze our wings. What's in the sauce? And this is a uh, buffalo sauce, so it's cayenne pepper, vinegar, and some secret spices I can't tell you. Oh, uh, you have to work here to get that stuff. <laughs> out of the fryer, drained off very well. Evenly coat them in the buffalo sauce. It's very spicy. Well, that's sitting in the sauce and glazing. I'm going to plate up. I'll put green leaf. And we're going to plate up, facing the bones out. It smells divine. Phenomenal. <laughs> we take pride in uh, plating our food. Yeah, because a lot of times you just go to a bar and you expect it all to be yeah, on there. Yeah, everything's thrown pride. on a plate. When this is going to a table, everybody's seen it. And yeah. the water start trickling. Buffalo wings, unbelievable. Best buffalo wings in the city. It's so hot, it burned my base. So if you want a hardcore buffalo wing test, this is the place to go, period. You know, I can take hot, but this is pretty spicy. That's good. I know I'm on TV, but I lick my fingers anyway. <laughs> Our tater skins as well. We drop those, 350, two minutes. Make sure you're draining off all the oil very well, keep it as healthy as possible. We try to not think of ourselves as bar food, but we're gonna raise it to another level. Stuff these with a cheddar and Jack Flynn. You never have too much cheese, right? Never. Then we uh, cover them with uh, applewood smoked bacon. You know, you put bacon on pretty much anything, oh. and it'll pretty much taste good. If you put it on my hand right now, I could eat it. Definitely. I'm happy. So, and then I'm gonna go into the oven until the cheese is melted, about five minutes. Then we're gonna plate up our tater skins coming out of the oven right behind you. Look at this, loads of bacon, loads of cheese. And we'll top these with green onions. We're gonna make it our sour cream. It's a little bit of half and half. Fresh squeezed limes, salt and pepper, and fresh sour cream. Just not your basic sour cream. The tater skins are so good here, they're really good. You add bacon to anything and it makes it fabulous. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Potato skins, so good layer of uh, the tricolor tortillas. Then we do our in-house smoked black beans. So how do you make it a twist? Because everybody, every bar has nachos, right? The presentation and then the product that we use speaks for itself. And a lot of cheese. <laughs> uh, a lot. <laughs> and we're gonna go in the oven for five minutes. We'll make it our fire roasted salsa. We got nice Roma tomatoes right here. Fresh jalapeno, straight out of the fire. Fresh yellow onions. Getting some nice color on these. These are our fresh chili diarbo. Straight in the oven, 20 minutes. Then we'll puree it through a blender. And this will be the finishing stage. A lot of heat. Can't take the Re heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. I'm not sweating at all. Okay. So you're saying this is a nacho plate for one? Right? This is for one, <laughs> but enormous. <laughs> we garnish with our jalapenos and a fresh pico de gallo. I think the, all the spice here is just a ploy to get people to drink more. For sure. <laughs> garnish with the sour cream. The pile of food. Feed probably four people. People do knock these down by themselves. I don't even know how I can start on this. I guess I'll just dive in. Woo! That's good. This stuff is really good. Best bar food downtown. See the skill? 
could you do that? I'm here for the drinks, not to bowl. Okay, I'm gonna make for you guys a tropical tavern. The ladies love it, it's real sweet. For this one, I'm gonna use Malibu, little peach schnapps, some orange juice, and some pineapple. And there it is. All right, I'm taking this with me. Thank you okay, for everything. <laughs> Stay tuned, there's more hotties. Oh, it's hot. And killer drinks to come on Bar Tab.